As if it wasn't evident enough already that Newcastle United needed to bring in new faces in this January transfer window, it's certainly evident now with the dismissal of Joe Linton for maybe the whole season, Tonali out for the whole season, Ellie Anderson and Joe Willick's injured right now. There's one position that's outdoing the rest and where we need to bolster up. It's centre midfield and we've got good news as for a man we've actually been linked with before has been scouted by Steve Nixon and Newcastle United. It's Atalanta star midfielder Edison. The 24-year-old Brazilian is a very, very talented player. One that I've looked at before personally. I've watched him live and I really really do like him. Without further ado, let's get into some of the statistics of the very, very highly rated midfielder in Edison. Should he come to Newcastle United and what's the long-term project for Edison? Without further ado, let's take a look. Reek then lads and lasses, how we're doing and welcome back to the channel. Yes, I'm pretty sure you can agree if there was one position we actually needed to buy depth in right now, it may be a CDM or a centre mid. Like I said, the dismissals of Tonali, Jolin and Elliot Anderson and Joe Willick. Joe Willick's actually just put a sort of Instagram story up saying him and Matty Target are very close to return. So that's good news. But yes, centre midfield, a very big position for Newcastle United. Newcastle's actually just recalled two midfielders who were out on loan. Isaac Hayden, as we already do know, come back from standard Liège and we've just recalled another player, Joe White, the 21-year-old youngster, I believe he's 21 years old, from... Crew Alexandra, I nearly forgot that, I thought it was Exeter City, but we recalled him from League Two side, Crew Alexandra, where he's got three goals and two assists for the season. Now, when you think of it, look, he's a 21-year-old kid, uh, he's maybe not a kid, but he's a 21-year-old, he's in League Two, is he actually going to play for Newcastle? Well, Eddie Howe has said that he's going to assess his ability and see where he can go from there. Look, I don't want to hack the kid because he's a Newcastle player and he's probably a Geordie, but if we are looking at League 2 quality midfielders right now, it doesn't look good for Newcastle. But we have got good news that we are looking at a Europa League level midfielder who's played five times in the Europa League this season, or four times in the Europa League this season, or four or five, I believe it is. He's a very, very good midfielder, we will just say that. But before we get into him, we'll take a look at the actual transfer news, concrete transfer news of him today. Before we get into that, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please do like the video. I appreciate it. I do appreciate it so, so much. Send it out to more people, and uh, it's sort of a little bit of appreciative feedback from me. Right, as we were going to say, Edison, who is Atalanta's 24-year-old Brazilian midfielder, I'm a really, really big fan of him. He plays in that right centre mid role in Atalanta's 3-4-2-1 formation, I do believe it is. So he plays in the right side of midfield, but he's not... He's, he's defensive, but he does go forward as well. I think he's got five goals and one assist in the Serie A this season. Like I said, he's played in the Coppa Italia and the Europa League for this season. He's also scored in the Europa League, so he can get a few goals from that position as well. But like I said, onto the transfer news. This is given to us by Sport Witness on X. I'm going to read it to my right right now. Steve Nixon in the Bergamo on transfer trip. Newcastle United are serious for the midfielder of Edison. They've contacted Atalanta, but Atalanta are determined to not sell him in the middle of the season, of course, January you can't really blame them because not many teams, especially when they are in the Europa League, I believe they've actually progressed to the, the knockout rounds of the Europa League that they top their group and they're in the Coppa Italia and they're doing half decent in the Serie A. They wouldn't want to lose one of the best players in January and uh, it, it's pretty... You, you can't really blame them, can you? I mean, we wouldn't want to lose Bruno, for example, in the middle of, of January. That's their sort of Bruno. This was also given to us by Sky Sports. They didn't say nothing on the matter, but Sky Sports News have said that it's just a, a little sort of summary of Edison and Newcastle United. So yet again, they are actually confirming that Newcastle have been linked with Edison. And this is, by the way, not just a recent link. We have been linked with Edison quite a while ago. So it's pretty good that the, the club is long admirers of Edison. He's not just come up. It's not a sort of desperate... Um, What's a sort of like a rushed transfer, if you know what I mean? Or he's the last option. Quickly get him. We need to pay up with all the transfer money that we have got left due to financial fair play. No, the club have been a very long admirer of him for quite a long time. That is also confirmed here. Now, I do want to say the source is the Sun Sport, which it's not the best source at all, as it's a take with a pinch of salt. But it says Newcastle are preparing a swoop for Atlanta midfielder Edison, who would cost around £35 million. Now, look, can we pay £35 million? And I've seen a fair few people say, Everyone's sort of building this FFP up as if we're restricted to having like five five million pounds or something. We've actually got a lot more. For me personally, if Atalanta are willing to sell Edison, I believe it's going to cost a lot more than thirty five million pounds, especially in the middle of a season. Maybe if it was in the the start of the season, thirty five million pound would be a very good price tag. I believe they bought him for twenty one million pound from Salernitana, which wait for it. As you all know, this is where I've watched them, and uh, yeah, Salernitana. I visited the city of Salerno. And I love that team so, so much. I've made friends over there, of course, my 
Italian friends, and I'd love to see a player who's played for Salerno Torna come to Newcastle, but the sentimental side, side of it is not going to get me. It is his ability-wise, and he's a very, very good midfielder. Like I said, he drops into that right centre mid midfield role, and he plays in a 3-4-2-1, so he's still got three people ahead of him, and he's still popping in a fair few goals, more than any of our midfielders have scored this season. Now, the reason I said at the start of the video, and sorry for that cut-off there, my recording actually stopped. I do apologise for that. I normally like letting the video sort of flow through one sort of thing without stopping talking. We'll just carry on with that. See, I believe it just gives a better experience overall rather than like chop, 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 if you know what I mean. So what I was going to say at the start of the video, I did say, what does this mean for Edison's future at Newcastle? The sort of long-term future, is he going to be here forever? Now, in my opinion, it leaves him in a very, very sticky situation. Like I said at the start of the season, centre midfield is probably and arguably one of the most packed positions we've ever been and packed with quality in like the, the best sort of covered area we've had in Newcastle's history in a very, very long time. Just look at some of the calibre of players, not in any sort of order, but I'll try and rank them from the lowest to the highest. I don't want to sort of offend anyone. But as of right now, since we've got Joe Willock and uh, Joe White and Isaac Hayden back from loan, Joe White, Isaac Hayden, this is currently right now, of course, I do know a couple are, are injured. Joe White, Isaac Hayden, Ellie Anderson, Lewis Miley, Sandro Tonali, Sean Longstaff, Joe Willock, Bruno Gimmerais, Joe Linton. That is nine players there who can at least play in the top four leagues of, of the um, English division. But of course, we do know that the latter of them are pretty Champions League football. I'm talking Joe Linton, Joe Willock, Bruno Gimmerais and Joe Linton. Them four are absolutely fantastic. And Lewis Miley, 17-year-old kid, putting fantastic performances against Paris Saint-Germain and AC Milan. What a prospect we've got on my hands yet again. But like I said, Edison, is he better than the latter of midfield as there? Now, look, I don't want to hack any of our players because Edison isn't a current player. I don't want to sort of stick up for him over Newcastle players. But is he better than Isaac Hayden and Joe White right now? Yes, of course he is. He plays in the Europa League. He's been putting great, consistent performances in the Serie A as well. A very, very top div uh, division, in my opinion, my second favourite division of football. I don't know if that's just because I love Italy so much. But yes, is he better than the likes of Bruno, Sandro Tonali and Joe Linton right now? I wouldn't say he's better than any single one of them. No, that is right now. Of course, coming to Newcastle, where he's got Eddie Howe as the manager, where he's playing in the Premier League, which, yes, could add a little bit of pressure, but it can bring out the best of players as well. Like I said, with Eddie Howe, is there any sort of player that has come into Newcastle and sort of not improved? I don't believe that actually is. Maybe the odd ones like Isaac Hayden, who was centre one. Well, did he get sent out to the, the under-21s to train with them or something like that? That must have been very hard for him. Uh, Ryan Fraser, another one who I believe got sent to the under-21s. Maybe them two are the sort of kind of best of a bad bunch or whatever you want to call it. Just ones that didn't work out for Eddie Howe. But Edison, I believe, he comes to Newcastle. He plays in a 4-3-3 formation with a pivot. And I know many people will be saying, well, is he a six? Can he play in that six role? Because let's be real, we've got many fantastic eights. And Bruno, who also is probably better in an eight. Joe Linton, Sandro Tonali, Joe Willock, Ellie Anderson, and Lewis Miley. Every single one of them are definitely better in an eight. So are we going to buy another eight rather than getting a six, if you know what I mean? I do believe Edison's position is undoubtedly better as an eight. Like, like I said, he plays right centre mid for uh, Atalanta. I was going to say AC Milan there, but uh, he plays in a right centre mid position for Atalanta in a four in a three four two one uh, formation. So he's not a six. Can he play as a six? I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to act like I can. No, I'm not going to guess. I've never seen him play in a six position in my life. I've never searched up any sort of statistics. If it's something that I do know, I will search up right after this video is recorded and I'll put it into the comments. If not, then he hasn't played in there before. But I do understand what some fans will say. Why are we going to buy another eight when we've nearly got, what, seven great eights there and we've not got one good six whatsoever? Just honest to God, bring back the likes of John Joe Shelby at this rate. Jesus. But there we have it, lads. There is the video. Would you like to see the Atalanta, 24-year-old Brazilian, and I am going to say this, fantastic midfielder come to Newcastle United. And what is the top whack you would pay from? Like I said, Sun Sport. Sun Sport, take with a pinch of salt. Said that he's going to cost £35 million. Now, in the middle of a season, when he's one of their crucial players, when they're in the knockout rounds of the Europa League, like I said, Serie A and Copa Italia, do they really want to sell him? I don't know. I think they will be very, very sort of being a burden on that. I think they're going to be very hard to actually get them off the hands. But if it's something we can do, I'm going to be definitely in favour of that deal. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I've been Jordy Josh. Do you know what it is, lads? I'm not going to record anything, but I might put up a short. I'm going to the Newcastle United versus Bournemouth under 18s game in the youth. FA Cup, I believe it is, at 7pm tonight. So if you say yous, come and say hello. I've been meeting a lot of yous recently and I really do appreciate that. I love meeting yous all in real life. Like I say, I'm just a down-to-earth kid. I speak to every single one of yous. And uh, aye. Thank you very much, lads. See yous later. Go and enjoy your day.